Tools destruction cut off communication throughout the panhandle, paralyzing emergency efforts and panicking families. News Channel 8's Victoria Price joins us now to show us amateur radio operators are actually using their hobby for humanitarian aid. This is a kind of cool story here, Victoria. Yeah, it definitely is a neat effort when there's no power and there's no cell service. There's no form of contact in these hard hit areas except by radio. We spoke with one amateur radio operator who's been doing this radio relief now for more than 30 years, and he calls Michael by far the worst situation he's ever experienced. Coming the roads are impassable as well. In a disaster zone only accessible by air. They have no TV. They have no fire, no police, no EMS. They're just done. Lee Paulet is reaching Hurricane Michael victims through the airwaves. Query. Where you go? KK4 will be on said, did you find out anything about the runway? It's over. Hundreds of miles away in Crystal River, he's part of a network of ham radio operators providing logistical support for emergency crews without communications. Less than one day remaining at the EOC generator. Over. We had a, um, a request for several pallets of uh, gasoline, of fuel, and of water. Paul a is also connecting families without cell service, separated by the storm. Uh, the only word we've gotten from a neighbor is that they're alive and safe. He's devoted countless hours of service already, knowing that it could have been him in the storm's yeah, path instead. All that storm had to do was twitch, and all that devastation is from here to Tampa Bay. Andy says he'll continue around the clock until lines of communication in the panhandle are back up. We will stand by in case something comes up. You need it, we'll help you. If you have loved ones in the panhandle that you cannot get in touch with and believe could be facing a life or death situation, the state has launched an online form that you can fill out to try to get a welfare check on that person. If you click on this story on WFLA.com, we'll have a link to that online form. Reporting live in Tampa, Victoria Price, News Channel 8.